good morning children welcome to maths class so in maths we are solving the problems of block 23 which is money yes and in this we have learned how what are the different notes and coins we have and also how to add the money isn't it how to add the rupees isn't it children so in the next topic we are going to learn how to solve the money problems like word problems we can say the problems which has money in it okay children so let's see the sums here so what is the total of the given items so they have given some items the cost of the items we have to find total cost okay like addition so book is 145 rupees and pencil is 14 rupees okay so cost of book is rupees 145 and cost of the pencil is 14 rupees so whenever we are writing this children do remember we are reading as 145 that means this is ones this is tens and this is hundreds here we are not writing because it is money but do remember this concept is applicable in all the any mathematical problem whenever we are doing addition subtraction multiplication division do remember we are following this hundreds tens ones okay and in 14 it is only two digits 14 that means this is tens one tens and four ones isn't it so accordingly we will write according to the place values okay now we have to start from the ones isn't it see here it is o this is tens and this is hundreds always start from the ones so five plus four will be nine four plus one will be five and 1 here you don't have anything so you will write 1 as it is. So answer is five. Sorry, 159 rupees. So cost of book and pencil together is 159 rupees. So total cost is equal to 159 rupees. So in this way you need to solve. Okay, let me show you another one. So bottle, the cost of bottle is 95 rupees. Book is 135 rupees. See children, here 135. So this is three digit number. This is two digit number. So first let's write the book. Okay, cost of the book is equal to 132. Okay, and cost of the bottle is 95 rupees. Yes, so see we have written in ones and tens so 95 means 9 tens and 5 ones isn't it so 9 tens we wrote under tens and ones we wrote under ones 95 okay children so in this way make sure you are writing according to the columns according to the place values okay ones under ones tens under tens okay if you don't write like this then it will be a mess if you write 9 and 5 here the answer will be wrong children because nine tens no this one is hundreds so nine tens should be written under the tens only okay now now two plus five so two plus five will give us seven isn't it seven nine plus three nine plus three becomes twelve isn't it children so this two you will write it down and this one you will carry it to 100. Same as the numbers we have learned children. In the same way only you will do. Okay now 1 plus 1 becomes 2. So the answer is so total cost is 227. You will write the rupees. Okay therefore total cost is equal to 227 rupees. Okay so in this way you have few more sums in your daily schedule. Copy it down in your class book. Now let's see the next one. So Garima's father gave her 501 pocket money, 501 rupee pocket money. Now she fa father have given the pocket money of about rupees 501. Now let's see what is the question here. So the question is how much money will be left with her if she spends 145 rupees on t-shirt. So father gave her 501 rupee, isn't it? And she spent... 145 rupees on her t-shirt now how many are how many how much amount is left out that means you need to do subtraction isn't it children in the same way children as we have done for the word problems for addition subtraction whatever we have done it is same multiplication also is same okay so total amount is equal to 501 
amount she spent on t-shirt cost of shirt is equal to 145 now uh, from 101 she removed 145 so that is subtracting isn't it so you will do the subtraction so if you do children 1 minus 5 you can't do so what you have to do you need to borrow borrow so this 0 becomes so from here you have to write 5 become 5 becomes 4 0 becomes 10 and from here you will carry it this becomes 9 and this becomes 11 11 minus 6 11 minus 5 becomes 6 now here you have 9 9 minus 4 becomes 5 4 minus 1 becomes 3 so in that way you need to do like general subtraction so the amount left is 356 rupees okay children in this way only you will get the sums okay so th there is one more sum in this copy all the sums in your class book coming to your homework complete the volume book children volume book 3 page number 37 s3 solving money problems okay so in the next class we will learn the next topic children see you in the next class bye